All right, in this video, real quickly, we're going to show you how to install Radio DJ. And as you can see, I've downloaded Radio DJ. This is version 174. So we're going to right click and extract everything. Just click OK. And it's going to create a folder. And uh, when you go into that folder, you're going to see a folder called Radio DJ. Now, if you want to run more than one station, what I would recommend is renaming this to, to whatever. I'm just going to call it Radio DJ Station One. Okay, you can be it can be whatever station you want. And then what you would want to do is you would really want to copy this. And go over to your program files folder. Um, I recommend the 86 x86 folder. You can actually run it from anywhere, and I'm getting ready to show you that in a minute. But if you want to put this under program files, put it under program files x86. Okay. And so that way, if you got a, multiple stations, you know, you got another station, you just right click, copy the second station, just copy it over there. And once you copy it over there, now we're ready to install it. Now you must have MySQL already set up and running. So make sure you look at the video on MySQL. All right. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to go in here. Now you can actually run this from radio, the radio DJ EXE, or you can actually go into this little setup folder right here and run this database, database setup file, which is what I'm going to do. All right. All right, so it comes up. It may be pre-populated a little bit. It may not be, okay? If this is empty, you can put in 27.0.0.1 or you can put in localhost, all one word. Right here where it says MySQL database. This can be whatever you want. If you're gonna run multiple stations, I record you're gonna to have to always for each station give this a different name. That's the only way you're gonna be able to separate the stations from each other, okay? So if I want to call this station one from our previous example, um I could put that in there. Okay, so in the database it'll be called station one. And if you know anything about database management, um you will be able to go in and you can quickly find that particular database. The MySQL username depends on what you use when you set it up. Um, I'm going to leave this on root. I believe it's still on root and the MySQL password. So it's very important when you're installing MySQL that you write down your username and password for your MySQL database. You have to write that down because it's hard to find that anywhere else. So make sure you write it down. So I'm going to put that in, put my password in. And then what you want to do is you want to click on validate. If everything is good, this will turn to green and it'll say MySQL server is online. If it stays red, usually you get an error um, telling you what the problem is. It's either one of one of two things. Either the username and password is wrong or you don't have MySQL installed or you have it installed and it's not running. So make sure when you install MySQL that you um, make sure it's running as a service. So every time the computer boots up, MySQL will start. Once you get the green light and everything's good to go, all you're gonna do is click on install database, okay? Um, I guess I can do this. I already have this already installed. Um, click okay. It's going to go through the process of installing the database and you're done. Okay. So now if I back out, Windows seven does that. So now if I back out of this to the, to the folder, if I run this, it should run with no problems and there it is. Okay. That's all you have to do to install radio DJ. And you can install multiple radio DJs, but I'm going to warn you, you really need to have multiple sound cards. I suggest you go and get um, a pretty cheap USB sound card for each 
installation or else it's going to be a nightmare in terms of being able to hear each one because uh, Radio DJ does not have a way to mute. It has the, it doesn't have a way to mute the audio for that station. So you go, if you're going to run more than one, make sure you get a sound card for each one. Um, I particularly like the Behringer. I think it's called the UC222. Uh, 212 something like that I recommend that um, and that's all you have to do to install Radio DJ hope this has been helpful